Hey, we're Audio Dam, and we're hanging out with Rob on Front Row Life. It looks like there's a lot of industry people in there, so <laughs> it made me nervous. How did you guys feel knowing there was plenty of industry folks out there? Well, yeah, we we've done those showcases before. Um, they're always uh, they're always different, but you know when when you just when you go up on stage and, and just have fun, it's like it, yeah. you can play everywhere basically. Right. And so something changed, I think, past the uh, what the fast past showcases we did. Like oh, yeah. they they became more of a family. Yeah. You know, right. it kind of turned around because it's people from the label, from the publisher. Right. And we're yeah. starting to know more and more of these people. So so, it's so like uh, f 50, 50, 60, I don't know how many percent of those people that were in there. We actually work with them. They been so so great to us and you know so it's, it's really a crew party let's yeah. call it crew party instead right. of showcase that sounds even <laughs> better. so we can give something back if you will you know it's you know, really that cool. sounds even better. now you guys are debuting the music but you're also debuting an EP that just dropped yeah. uh, and it's the, the self-titled EP for uh, on epic records so let's talk about the production of this EP it's a four track EP what really went into to creating this masterpiece that you guys did? <laughs> uh, thanks for calling it masterpiece, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> um, well, it actually we've this actually we've been working on a you know bigger record as well. Mm. So um, Ali Ali produced actually all of all of the stuff we recorded ourselves or Ali recorded if if, if you will and you know we basically wrote like these R&B songs right but so soulish R&B songs mm -hmm. and we wanted to go into the rehearsal room and completely play them as a, a you know really gritty rough rock trio that's, right. that's what we wanted to do like get in one room get all the amps get all the you know all the gear in one room um, and and play in one room live together yeah find the magic of a band again yeah. you know <laughs> that that was kind of yeah find that magic that happens when some people make music and everything comes together right. yeah. and yeah we're looking for that and that was like kind of the basic track for every yeah. every song uh -huh. and then we basically in general we added everything we wanted to that was basically the yeah. that was the project about there wasn't like we didn't want to sound like soul or like pop or like rock right, right. we just were like what about horns sounds like fun let's do it what about playing it live as a band yeah let's do it and so a collection of ideas. Now it's pretty it's pretty cool that you guys are on a label but you were still able to produce your own record instead of having to go out with someone else. So how how did you guys even go about that being that you are a fresh band uh, for this label? Well, just so deeply thankful for that. <laughs> like that that they appreciate what we did back then and um, we really made it totally with no interest of of, of selling it or whatever and and now, like one of our big and biggest heroes, like Ellie Reed and and the whole Epic record and and, and right. Sony ATV appreciate that so much. Yeah. We're just cool. thankful to work with them. Now, there's there's four tracks on the record. Can you guys break them down briefly? Um, brief micro sleep cannot be avoided. Short <laughs> title. Um, we we did that one five years ago. Maybe this is the oldest audio damn song. We wow. did it even back in Austria. Mm -hmm. And somehow it survived the years. I don't know. We recorded it four times, <laughs> and somehow it always survived. And it's usually the one that makes the girls dance at, yeah. at the show so far, at least in Germany. Okay. So we really didn't want to give up this one, and so yeah. find it on there. It's, it's, nice. a, it's a very energetic live song as well. I really enjoy playing it because it's it's either on the beginning or at the end of the show most of the time because it just has this energy that we you know um, that we like to share with everybody <laughs> <laughs> then there's lights out lights out is a song that um that was also there right at the beginning of of when we founded audio dam i i, I recorded a um an acoustic dem demo actually um it was more of a bluesy ballad than than what it is right now yeah. so um that's also one song that we, you know, crushed a little bit in the rehearsal yeah. room. Edit that, edit that guitar riff, the don't 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 and and the other one. So, um, but the cool thing is, after a few years, um, there's actually a video of Lights Out that you know we played acoustically, you know, um, and it kind of goes back to that kind of feel that the demo had. So that there was a, we sometimes play that version also at you know radio promo shows and stuff. Okay. So we have, you know, it's a pretty cool song. It works. In different, you know, works in different arrangements. Uh, yeah. Next the, one, radar. Uh, then there's Radar, which started off as an a cappella uh, version of Oliver, where he recorded everything by his mouth, like the uh, percussions and the bass and stuff. 
And then I think he, he played it to Ali and, and he was like, hey, we gotta do that. And then we met at the rehearsal room and yeah, that version then came out and that's what, what the people hear now. And um, also we did a nice fun video. You can watch that <laughs> since yeah. Friday, it's out. Yeah. And I saw that. Yeah. And yeah. Filming that video, what, what was that like? Uh, I believe you mentioned in an interview that you guys did two videos in one day or, or two videos in two days or something like that. For Lightset, we also shot a video and for, for Radar, it was a very different video um, where we were basically, were, it's, it's definitely f a fun video, you, right. you know, people c should, you know, can watch that. It was directed by, by Nathan Cox, who is a great director. And, and it was so fun. We're basically on a life raft and then we get saved by, by bikini girls and, you know, <laughs> uh, the castaways. And, and then we're, you know, on, on the yacht uh, playing, you know, it's, it's, it's really fun. And, you know, it, it was fun there's shooting. A twisting, there's a small twisting point at <laughs> the yeah. end. So Which watch it till the end. Yeah. To, to understand <laughs> it, right? Yeah. So you, uh, did, you did mention there was, you guys were working on an album yeah. as well. So, and, and you guys are already working on an album, just released the EP a couple of days ago on the 8th, I want to say. Yeah. So what's the plan with the album? Um, the, the plan with the album, there's no like fixed release date or something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all coming to the finish line, but basically we can say there's the songs from DP, uh, a few of them are going to be on the album as well, probably. So, you know, um, we, we recorded so many songs over the last, over the past few years, basically. Um, the way that we described earlier and, and we're really happy to, you know, that everyone for everyone to hear them because right. because you know we've, we've got plenty of material actually uh, yeah. it's like crazy we just yeah. started focusing on new stuff already yeah. actually to us to be honest it, it feels kind of good because we've been working on on this so long i mean working right. on other stuff as well but, to us, but yeah absolutely and yeah. to us it just feels kind of good to know that is it now the production for our first album which is yeah. a great feeling to work on on the other songs and and we're just so proud. There are a ton of friends on that record as well. Yeah, friends from back in Austria really and Germany. Yeah, they were oh, singing that's, that's choir in, story, in my yeah. small room. We were recorded a, a choir of yeah. 20 people. <laughs> had a massive party in there. Yes. Friends were playing horns and. That's awesome. Awesome. And it, yeah, it was us that, that did the album. Ali, Ali produced it, and and but still, it felt like a community of, of people made that album happen. Because yeah, like like you said, um, we recorded choirs. We recorded the other guy recorded uh, 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 roads. Then then a few friends. Uh, rec we recorded a few friends. They did the horns, and then yes. uh, he did that. She did that, and it's it's like all <laughs> over that. There's people that we are friends all over the place on that that record, and it's got that these special details that we really love and, and I hope you guys hear it you know everybody hears it out there that we put so much you know detail and love into yeah. that, well, that I yeah. mean, I'm, yeah. I'm definitely excited listen yeah. or hearing that but I mean we are we obviously have to give the EP like that proper yeah. uh, promotion as well so plans for a tour maybe for the EP um, we don't have a, a, a tour plan yet but uh, it, it's everybody's working on that and and I think we're gonna um, we're gonna have something soon for everybody. Okay. We're excited to play everywhere. Well, we can wait yeah, to start playing, you know, start touring. Over. But a lot of people working on that might right. be a support tour. I'm pretty sure it will be really soon. Okay. Yeah. Well, I definitely look forward to that. And lastly, you guys all have different uh, styles of mu or musical influences. So how did you guys really mix all of those styles to make what Audio Dam is? <laughs> um, I think the you know. The cool thing about it about this band is that we we just did what was the most fun to us and and what just in in the heat of the moment just appealed to be the the, the right or cool thing to do or what we wanted to do you know mm. so if we if we wanted to do you know a more funky song we just you know just we just played yeah. a funkier groove you know what i mean so i think this is the, the yeah. thing when a, when a when a band works out when things come in a good way together when uh, when yeah. a band kind of crashes you know because usually it might be a problem right. the, the, but in this case it was really the 100 percent opposite and that's also why this band felt good to all of us we were all totally appreciating the the background from from the other guy you right. know yeah. and and so all of us kind of 
that st started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We really wanted to reach that point where we put it all together and yeah. that magic happens. And hopefully that's the moment where we press record and hopefully the computer doesn't crash because the, <laughs> because the computer was in another room upstairs, <laughs> which means we always ran upstairs, pressed record, ran down again, <laughs> played the track and of quite a few times the computer crashed and we lost a really good track. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was a lot of excitement at once. Oh, yeah. And that's why you guys should pick up the new EP that's out now. It's self-titled. It's on Epic Records. It's on iTunes. It's everywhere. Check out the music video for Radar and uh, check out Audio Dam. And hopefully there will be some kind of tour shows in LA soon.